Quite a sight to see. The entire Bay Area is getting moon. Everyone's checking out the sky tonight to see the lunar eclipse that's well underway. Good evening on this Sunday. Welcome in. I'm Jack Royer. And I'm Melanie Michael. Thank you so much for joining us and making us a part of your weekend. Indeed, right now, everyone is looking up to catch a glimpse of something very special. A lunar eclipse underway right now in Florida is, of course, the perfect place to check it out. Eight on your side's Olivia Steen is live in St. Petersburg at St. Petersburg College, where everyone's invited to come out and take a look for themselves, right? That's right, Jack. They're holding a viewing opportunity right now. And as you can see behind me, there are several people out here and they have several telescopes set up on this lawn. Now the eclipse happened or it started 30 minutes ago and the moon is already covered. The moon during the full moon phase will actually pass into the Earth's shadow and get covered up in the Earth's shadow. Creating a lunar eclipse. It's one of the most simple of celestial events, actually. Craig Joseph, planetarium director, tells me this celestial phenomenon occurs twice a year. And when they come, they last a pretty long time. It takes about an hour for the moon to move into the Earth's shadow. Uh, it'll stay in the Earth's shadow, covered up completely for about 84 minutes, and then another hour or so. Uh, leaving the Earth's shadows. If you're trying to catch different angles and views of this eclipse, St. Pete College is the place to be. We have three different types of telescopes. We've got a couple refracting telescopes, some reflecting telescopes, and some uh, uh, what are called co compound telescopes that use lenses and mirrors to collect the light. But Joseph tells me you don't need a fancy telescope to see a lunar eclipse. All you have to do is step outside of your home and look up. You know, a full moon you can see, you know, without a telescope, and you'll easily be able to see a, a little bite taken out of the moon. That bite will get bigger and bigger until the, the moon is entirely within the Earth's shadow. Now, the telescopes here at St. Petersburg College are available for your use until midnight, so it's not too late to come on out. Jack Mel. Pretty cool. Love that. Thank yeah. you so much, Olivia.